Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Amanda. I am currently a third year vet student and today's video is vet school advice geared towards students who are currently in high school. I was actually preparing for an upcoming Q&A that I'm going to film and I was shocked with how many questions I got from high school students asking what they could do while they were in high school to either help with vet school or help with their application. So I figured because there was so many questions and because I actually have quite a few things that I would recommend for high school students regarding their application, I would make an entire video about it just dedicated to advice that I would give to students who are currently in high school wanting to go into the veterinary profession. I want to throw a disclaimer on this video. If you are watching this and you are done with high school or you're almost finished up and you're thinking, crap, I didn't do any of these things. I don't even know if I want to go into vet school 100%. Do not worry. There is no set formula on how to get into vet school. There is no right way to build your application. These are just things that I did while I was in high school that I feel like really helped me out in the long run. I know so many students who didn't realize they wanted to be a vet until much later on, even up until a couple years before they got into the program. So don't panic watching this video thinking that you didn't do these things in high school because it is completely okay. But if you are like me and you are someone who wanted to be a vet from a very young age and you're in high school and you're still currently wanting to go to vet school and pursue this profession, these are things that I feel like really helped me not only with my application, but just really shaped who I was going to be as a vet student and a veterinary professional. So I hope that no matter where you are in your vet school journey or your application process, these tips will be helpful for you. So before we get into the video, if you guys want to see more videos talking about my vet school journey or tips or advice that I have picked up along the way, make sure you like this video and feel free to subscribe down below. I also have a vet school Instagram account now, so if you want to see more content other than what I'm going to be posting here on YouTube, make sure you head on over to Instagram and check that out. I will leave the link down below in my description. So without further ado, let's jump into the five tips that I would recommend to any student in high school that is interested in becoming a veterinarian. So the number one question that I get asked is, do marks in high school actually matter towards your vet school application? And the short answer is no. The marks that you are getting in high school are not gonna go towards your vet school application. However, with that being said, the marks that you get in high school are going to help you get into an undergrad program that will eventually lead to vet school. So what does this mean? Basically, in high school, you do not need to get 99%. You don't need to have a super competitive average like you are going to need to get into vet school. But I will say the habits that you set for yourself while you were in high school in regards to studying and productivity will carry over into undergrad. In high school, I was a pretty decent student. The study habits that I built for myself in high school and just knowing that I was capable of getting those marks really translated over to undergrad and not only built my confidence, but just allowed me to create a study routine that helped me get the marks I needed in undergrad to get into vet school. So it is okay if you are not getting 99% in high school. Trust me, I did not get those marks in high school. Just focus on the marks that you need to reach the cutoff for your undergrad program that you are going to be applying to. And that leads me into tip number two, and that is to pick a good undergrad program that you are one, going to enjoy, but two, a program that will also set you up well for vet school. This is the easiest place to start if you feel like you are interested in vet school, if you want to go into the profession, but you just have no idea how to actually get there. This is step number one. Make a list of a couple vet schools that you are interested in that you might want to apply to. Once you figure out what those vet schools need for their application and what some of the prerequisite courses are that you need to apply, work your way backwards and figure out some undergraduate programs that will help you get into those vet schools. So for me, the Ontario Veterinary College was the end goal. That was the vet school that I knew I wanted to get into. Knowing that and knowing the prerequisite courses that I needed to apply to OVC, 
I decided that taking an undergrad program at the University of Guelph would be my best option. I ended up deciding on animal biology because that undergrad program offered so many benefits when it came to applying to vet school. The main selling factor about this program was that basically every single course that I took in my undergrad, I could use towards a potential vet school prereq. Not only that, but looking at the courses that this program offered, I knew I was going to get information in my undergrad that would help me in vet school. One of the courses that we take in vet school health management was basically my entire animal biology undergrad. So having already learned the content, it made my course in vet school that much easier and one less thing that I had to worry about. So that's kind of how I went about narrowing down what undergrad programs I wanted to apply to and what my ultimate number one program was to set me up well for vet school. Now, with that being said, if OVC is your end goal, animal biology is a very common program for people to take prior to getting into the program. However, you you do not need to take an animal biology program, an animal science program, or a dedicated pre-vet program. Make sure you check the requirements for your specific vet school that you're interested in, but for OVC, you can apply to the vet program with any undergrad program as long as you have the appropriate prereqs to apply. I know people who have applied with engineering degrees, I know people who have applied with film degrees, so that's why I say that there are two parts to picking an undergrad program that is gonna work well for you. One, is it gonna set you up well for vet school? But two, is it going to be a program that you enjoy? In tip number one, we talked about marks in high school, but your marks that you get in your undergrad program are going to be very important. I won't lie to you, for OVC specifically, marks are the number one thing you need to focus on in regards to your application. The past couple years, the cutoff mark to get into the program has sat around a 90%. So knowing that, you wanna make sure that you pick an undergrad program that you are going to be successful in. For me personally, in high school, I enjoyed the sciences, specifically biology. So I knew that taking the animal biology program I was going to be able to take courses that I was going to be interested in and because I was interested in those courses my marks would reflect that. So if you are in high school and you have no idea where to start on the vet school application process, take an afternoon and sit down and do some research and figure out what schools you are interested in applying to and then work your way back and figure out which undergrad programs are gonna be most interesting to you and most beneficial if you do get into vet school. So now moving on to tip number three, and we've already talked about one main part of the vet school application, and that is your marks. Let's move on to another component of your application that you can actually start working on while you were in high school, and that is your veterinary experience. <laughs> I always tell people that high school is a great place to start getting experience in the veterinary profession. For me specifically, my most valuable veterinary experience actually came from the experience that I got in high school. While I was in high school, I started shadowing a veterinarian, which ultimately led me to a job at a veterinary clinic, which I had all the way throughout high school. Not only did I get some really great experience during my high school years, but the relationships that I built with the vets while I was working at that clinic were honestly more important than any vet experience I could have gotten. Because your marks in high school don't matter as much as your marks in university, high school is a great time to go out and try and get veterinary experience. Now, every vet school is going to differ on what their veterinary experience requirements are for your application. For OVC, your experience and the number of hours that you have are not going to get you into vet school. And if I'm being completely honest, they don't play a huge role in your application. So the tips that I have for getting experience in high school are quality over quantity, and don't be afraid to try out a variety of different fields in the veterinary profession. Okay, so what do I mean by quality over quantity? There seems to be this 
idea that you need thousands of hours in a variety of different fields to get into vet school. But like I said, OVC specifically, I don't know about other vet schools, the number of hours that you have doesn't actually factor into your application. For me, it was more important to build good relationships with the vets and the technicians that I was working with versus getting thousands and thousands of hours at a variety of different places. I worked at one clinic all the way through high school and that was the largest chunk of experience I put on my vet school application. But the relationships that I built and the mentors that I was able to work with during my time in high school were more valuable than anything else I could have put on my application. The vets that I got a chance to work with are still people that I am in touch with today. They are still people that I go to when I'm asking for vet school advice. And I am so thankful that I had the ability and the chance to build those relationships so early on in my vet school journey. Now, the other side of your vet school experience is to try not to get tunnel vision and don't get stuck in one particular field. Your vet school experience is for you. The experience that you're going to get in this profession is to make sure that you truly understand what being a vet entails, to make sure that you really enjoy this profession and can see yourself working in this field for the long run. So knowing that the experience you are going to get is going to benefit you, it's important to go out and find an area of vet med that you truly enjoy. So the experience that I got in high school was predominantly in a small animal clinic, but that's because while I was volunteering there, I realized that that I truly enjoyed that part of vet med and that was probably where I wanted to go with my career in the future. But with that being said, I also shadowed some large animal vets and I helped out on a sheep farm so that I could get a variety of different experience. Having dipped my toes in other areas of vet med, I was pretty positive that I wanted to go into small animal medicine. So going forward, I tried to focus my attention on that area of the field. However, when I was in university, the majority of my experience came from summer jobs and I did try and find a variety of different jobs throughout my time in the program. So I worked in research and also with exotic animals just to see if there was other areas of veterinary medicine that I was also interested in. Ultimately, I ended up loving small animal practice and that's my current goal. However, had I not gotten the experience and the variety of experience that I did in high school and in undergrad, I wouldn't be that confident in saying that I want to go into small animal medicine because I would always be asking myself, well, what if there's another part of the profession that I really enjoy? So those are my tips regarding veterinary experience in high school. High school, I honestly think is the perfect time to get out there and try and get as much experience as possible. Knowing that your main focus in undergrad will probably be on getting the marks that you need to apply to the program. Okay, so that is tip number three. Moving on to tip number four, and you are probably thinking, great, Amanda, you told me to get experience, but how do I get experience? When you're in high school, there's nothing wrong with sending your resume out to a couple clinics in your area or local animal shelters and letting them know that you are interested in applying to vet school and you would love to get some experience to figure out if this is the right career for you. However, the key to getting vet experience in high school is try to get a veterinary co-op if your school allows for it. I did a vet co-op while I was in grade 11 and I actually did it at the clinic that I worked at, but the experience that I got during that co-op was better than any experience I have gotten even up until this point, which is kind of crazy to think about. While I was in my high school co-op, I got to work very closely alongside the vets that I was working with because I had a good relationship with the vets and the techs from working at the clinic previously. They would let me take blood and intubate animals, which is absolutely insane because I still don't do some of those things in vet school right now. So the fact that I was able to get that experience in high school was invaluable. This kind of ties back into building good relationships because had I not had those relationships and those connections with the vets, I don't think that I would have been able to do any of those things. Because your co-op is a four month long experience, it gives you a better chance of building those relationships with the veterinarians versus just working at a clinic once a week. So if you are struggling to get experience at an 
actual clinic. Look into the options that your high school has and see if they offer co-op programs because this is a really great way to gain vet experience while you were in high school and have it count as a high school credit. So it's like a win-win, it's great. Okay, we have talked about four things that you can do while you are in high school that will help with your vet school application in the long run. The fifth and final thing that I wanted to talk about was for me, the biggest adjustments going from high school to university. And that is to not let your first year university marks discourage you from pursuing the veterinary profession. Now, this tip is jumping a little bit ahead, but this was my biggest takeaway from my transition from high school to university. It's okay if your marks drop. Like I said before, I got pretty good marks in high school, but in my first year of university, my marks dropped almost 20%. I went from being a 90 student in high school to barely passing some of my first year courses. Physics, I'm looking at you. I was so discouraged and I thought that I was never going to get into vet school and I I was so close to giving up and switching programs and trying to figure out something else that I would be happy with doing for the rest of my life. So if you are like me and your first year marks do not look like the marks that you got in high school, do not let that discourage you from your dream of being a vet. University and undergrad is a huge adjustment compared to high school and that is one of the main reasons why I saw that huge drop in my marks is because it took me a while just to figure out how to be a university student. Every single year of undergrad, my marks just improved as I figured out how to navigate university and how I needed to study in the program. So do not let the marks that you get in your first year shift your dream of becoming a vet. I promise you, it doesn't matter if you almost failed physics. Trust me, I am speaking from experience. So there you go. Those are some tips that I have for students who are currently in high school wanting to go into the veterinary profession and wanting to apply to vet school. These are all things that I learned firsthand or realized really helped me on my vet school application. And I hope this video answered some of your questions on what you can do towards your vet school application while you are still in high school. Just remember that you still have plenty of time to build up a resume, get experience, or even figure out if the veterinary profession is right for you so do not get discouraged if you feel like you have done none of these things I promise you there is no formula there is no perfect way to get into vet school and if being a vet is your dream and something that you are truly passionate about you will make it work no matter where you are on your vet school journey with that being said if you have absolutely any questions about the veterinary program or the application process feel free to leave them down below or you can always send me a DM on Instagram I am happy happy to share some more advice or even just talk about what I did that I feel like was really beneficial to me. So do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!